All right, this is a video on algebra tiles and how to use them. Okay, um, so I'm gonna denote, so I, I'm gonna use these four tiles here and I'm gonna call this long rectangular blue one. I'm gonna call this guy is gonna represent an X tile. And the red one that looks the same size and shape, um, but red is gonna be a negative X tile. And then this single blue guy here is just gonna represent a constant, like a one. It's gonna represent one. And then the red guy is gonna represent a negative one. So we can use tiles to help us collect like terms. So, for example, if you have an expression like 3x plus 5 plus 2x minus 4, and you want to use algebra tiles to help you collect like terms, first you would want to represent the expression using algebra tiles. So, here we have 3x's. So, we would write that as like 1, 2, 3. Sorry, it's not very neat, but that's our 3x tiles. Um, and then it says plus five. So we have five single tiles. So one, two, three, four, five. And next we have two X tiles. So one, two. Oh, wait, ah, I made a mistake. I don't know why I wasn't paying attention. Sorry about that. This should be five blue tiles. My mistake, because they're positive. So let me redo that. One, two, three, four, five blues. Okay, sorry. And then the minus four would be four negative one tiles. So then what we want to do is, um, over here I'll just show you. So you, we, we know that like a positive one and a negative one uh, would add up to zero. Just like a two and a minus two would add up to zero. Just like an x and a negative x would add up to zero. Sometimes we call these like zero pairs because they make zero. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to combine this guy and this guy together. So together, they would form positive one and negative one, so like a zero pair. So we can actually eliminate them. And then I'll combine another pair right there. So I can actually eliminate those. Uh, let's combine these two guys. Eliminate those, and let's grab one more blue. So we got a blue and a red together. We'll eliminate those. And then let's do, actually that's all we can do. We're out of reds. So then we just write down what we have left. So we have one, two, three, four, five X tiles, which means we have five X, and then one single, so plus one. So this expression right here is equal to 5x plus 1. So that's how we collect like terms using algebra tiles. We can also expand using algebra tiles. Um, so I'll just show you that. So if you had an expression like 3 times 2x plus 1, you could use algebra tiles to expand. Um, so what you would do is you would set up that little grid. Um, we'll use blue. Okay, so we're doing three. So I'm going to get three ones. One, two, three. And I'm multiplying it by two x's. So one, two, plus one single. So there we go. So now I just fill in this grid down here. So when I multiply this one times this, I just fill in like, I match the like height of that tile and then the length of this tile. And then I do that with the next one. 
and then the next one would just be like that. Um, and then I move on to the next row. And if I multiply, I'm just filling in the, like, you know, I'm just matching up this length and this length and building a shape that fits in there. And then my final one, I'll have this, this, and this one. So all together, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six X's and three ones. So six X plus three. Okay, and then finally, you can also solve equations using algebra tiles. So let's say we want to solve the equation like 3x plus 2 equals x minus 6. Okay, so what we can do is, um, maybe I'll just put a line down here to represent my left and right side. So first I'm going to build my model, like my equation. So I've got three X's on this side. I'm not gonna color them in. So there's my three X's. Um, and then I've got two ones. So I've got two ones. Um, and then on the right side, I have an X tile. Let's put one X. And then I have six negative ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so my goal is when I'm solving an equation to get x alone on one side. So let's just say that I wanted to like maybe leave this, like I want this x tile to remain, but I want everything else to go. Okay, so first I'm going to tackle my um, the two and the minus six. I'm going to attempt to get those guys on the right side. So I'm going to try to get the, all this, all the single tiles on the right side. Okay. So how do I do that? Well, I want to eliminate this, these plus two tiles. So if I simply like pair them up with a zero pair, like those will get eliminated, but you can't just add like two red tiles to one side of the equation. So you'd also have to add two red tiles to the other side because whatever you do to one side, you got to do it to the other side to keep the equation balanced. So then what happens is these things are going to get eliminated. So let's eliminate those. They're gone. Okay, so now I want all my X's to be on one side. So I'm going to get all my X's on the left side. And then eventually reduce it so that I can figure out what 1x is equal to. All right, so I need to get rid of the x on the right side. So to do that, I'm going to pair it up with a negative x so that they will get eliminated. Um, but whatever I do to one side, I have to do it to the other side. So I'm going to add a negative x tile over there. Okay, so now I can eliminate <clears throat> these two things because they form a zero pair. So they're gone. And I can actually eliminate these things on the left side because x minus x would just be zero. So I'll get rid of those. So here's what I'm left with. Basically, I'm left with 2x is equal to negative 8. So now my goal is to figure out what is 1x tile worth. So now I kind of want to split these one, these single tiles, evenly amongst the x's. So how that's going to work, whoops, is actually, sorry, I'm just going to move this. So I'll take this guy down here and then I can see pretty easily that if I pair these four with this guy, then those four can fit with that X. Maybe I should do that instead. <laughs> that might look a little better than like moving it. Ah, okay, wait, sorry. Okay, sorry, that's better. So now I can tell that one X tile is equal to negative four. So I just solved this equation. I just figured out that X is equal to negative four using algebra tiles. And I could even test that out so I could check. Okay, my left side of the equation is three X plus two. 
So if x equals negative 4, let's set that in, I would get negative 12 plus 2, which is negative 10. Okay, let's check the right side. The right side is x minus 6. So if x is negative 4 minus 6, negative 4 take away 6 is negative 10. So the left side equals the right side. So therefore, I solved this correctly. So that's how you can use algebra tiles.